Welcome back to my channel. If unfamiliar, my name's Miss Bree. Make sure to subscribe by clicking the red button under the screen and let's see what adventure we're going on today. This is part two video of Easter activities at home. Click the link in the description to go watch part one where we did three active Easter activities at home. Today, I would love to share with you three bunny themed activities. They are, Bunny says, writing the Easter bunny a letter and cotton ball painting. And there's even a surprise at the end where we find a mother duck and she had 12 little ducklings in my backyard. So cute. Well, grab your family, some materials, and let's play. Activity one, Bunny says. To play this game, one person starts out being the bunny. So I will start out being the bunny. And the rest of the kids will stand near the bunny and do what the bunny says as long as the bunny says starts with bunny says. Very similar to Simon says. So let's play an example. Hmm. So bunny says touch your head. And so everyone must touch your head. Bunny says touch your shoulders. So everyone should touch their shoulders. Bunny says, touch your ears. Make sure to touch your ears. Um, touch your stomach. Bunny didn't say to touch your stomach. So the child that doesn't touch their stomach, now they get to be the bunny. Make sure to swap out, letting every child have a chance to be the bunny. Activity 2, Easter Bunny Letter. For this activity, you will need paper, writing and coloring utensils, and an envelope. You sit down with your children and help them write a letter to the Easter Bunny. How fun is that? Including what their favorite candy is, what they're thankful for, what chores are they going to help around the house with, and what they want the Easter Bunny to bring them. And the adult can write the letter and the child can trace it. And then below, they can mm -hmm. draw a picture of them and the Easter Bunny. And then afterwards, you fold it up. Put it in the envelope and you can help them put the address on and seal it up. Put a like a sticker stamp on it and put it in the mailbox. Activity 3, Cotton Ball Painting. For this activity, you will need a bunny outline, either drawn or printed out on paper, cotton rounds or cotton balls, and washable paint. Clouds are shine. Why not do an Easter activity outside? So I am going to do the bunny 
Since it's a little windy, I got some rocks to hold down the bunny outline. And then I've got a paper plate that I'm going to use as a paint palette. And I'm going to use some blue. I'm going to use some pink. All bright, fun Easter colors. And if you hear that, they're, they're just doing some construction work in the background. Got to get some green. And I'm going to get some yellow. Woohoo! And then with these cotton rounds, I really like them because they're nice and thick. And then I'm going to, each cotton round, I got four total, is going to have their own paint color. And then I'm going to dip it in the paint, and then I'm going to dab it on the bunny. And you can, when you dab it, you kind of get cool little patterns. And then when you want to switch a color, yeah, you grab a new dab. And then dab it. You could do circles if you wanted. And that way when you're messy, you are outside. So you don't have to worry as much on your kitchen table. I'm gonna get the blue. I'm gonna do the ears. funny while you're outside you'll never know what's gonna go by or walk across your yard or what nature is gonna bring to you we actually saw a cute mother duck and she had 12 little ducklings right over there I'll show the footage Aren't they so cute and we're so lucky to have them in our yard and we put down some bird seed and they'll come up in our yard in the morning and peck, peck at the seed and the mother walks with them and they swim in the pond. So cute. What a great um, gift of nature for spring. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Easter painting activity. It's a very colorful and fun activity and it's a very affordable. Thank you so much for watching these three bunny themed activities. Look out for part three of Easter activities at home. Well, happy Easter. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.